In June 2014, ISIS occupied Mosul. One month later, on July 24th, they obliterated Jonah's shrine. And archaeologists' worst fears were realized. Years to build, but one minute to destroy. It was terrible, of course, terrible for people, terrible for antiquities. Ugh. This was to demonstrate their power over the landscape and also their effort to rewrite history. With Nebi Yunus, it's particularly troubling because it isn't just that smashing, it isn't just the explosion of Nebi Yunus. It's that after they came in with earth moving equipment and they wiped it clean. But in a twist of fate, the obliteration of Nebi Yunus wasn't the end of the story. It was the beginning of a whole new chapter that could finally reveal the true story behind the biblical tale of Jonah and the whale. It is rather ironic that you see ISIL trying, apparently, to destroy the ancient culture, but in fact, they have revealed a bit more of what really interests us. Two and a half years after the shrine's destruction, ISIS retreats from Mosul, leaving archaeologists free to examine the ruins more closely Beneath what was once Jonah's shrine, they make a shocking discovery. A labyrinth of tunnels leading to a strange subterranean landscape. After the liberation of East of Mosul, the army and some of the archaeologists went up there and they found they had dug four tunnels. Each tunnel, when you get inside, it will be divided into too many tunnels. Isis dug these tunnels deep into the mound in search of buried treasure. The looters were looking for the things which they be easy to be carried. The things which is, they cannot carry, they left it behind. The remaining objects open a window onto a lost world, a world of brutality, debauchery, and decadence where Jonah himself may have preached.